Hi all, Wind here. So in today's episode, I'm going to uh, show how we can move data um, via an update set. Now, there are many methods to import data in ServiceNow, and the most common route usually is via integrations or loading data via import set, transforming that data into the target tables. However, there may arise a case where using either of these methods on production is not feasible. So in that case, there is a option in which we can load the data in the in a dev environment and essentially push that data up up to up the stack in an update set. So I kind of just wanted to show uh, how you would do that. Now, uh, one fair warning, update sets are primarily used for managing and deploying configuration changes and customizations and development work uh, due to their version control consistency and, and their rollback capabilities. Um, and usually import sets and transfer maps or integrations would be the best way to load data in. Um, but this is just to show um, an alternative in case there is a restriction on loading that data in production in any one of those two methods. And that could be uh, anything from loading data without validating um, it first or essentially having a property that's blocking the import of that data. So we could do it in dev um, and essentially um, unlock those floodgates, disable those properties to allow it to be imported and then move uh, that data via the update set. So uh, let's get um, into the demonstration. So on, on my PDI, as you can see, uh, I've got this uh, records that I essentially want to add um, uh, or push up the stack. So first thing I'm gonna do is select this and um, add this to my update set. So we can see I've got an update set that I've made current uh, for this demo. And if I click on this uh, UI action, it will essentially add this to the update set. Now this UI action is um, available on the developer um, community and I will share a link to that. Um, been some amazing work in maintaining this, so uh, props to the developer on this one. Um, and uh, essentially you can use, uh, download this into your service now instance. Fair warning, it is maintained by the developer and community, so it is at your own um, risk that you import this into your instance, but please do your checks. But it is a, it is a great uh, action to, to add. So um, uh, once I've clicked on that, if I just go to my update set um, and showcase what this looks like. So I can see the records now have been added essentially to my update set. So if I complete this now, um, and essentially what I'm going to do is showcase how to now import the, the subject set uh, into my instance um, so we could uh, see that this working so if i just uh, export this and it will um, create that the first thing i want to do is i just want to go back to my hardware assets i'm just gonna delete these um, so let's just delete the assets only for now and uh, as we can see uh, the records are, are now deleted. So what I'm going to do now is import the um, the update set that we just exported. So so now uh, at this page we will import our update set. So I'm just going to go import XML, go and find my update. Once my update set is selected, if I just upload this now, okay, I can see it has been loaded. So uh, first thing we want to do with update set is essentially preview this to check if there's any issues. So uh, click on that. Okay, great. So I can see that there has been no um, uh, 11 records have been certain. There's no issues um, and no collisions. So let's commit this update set. Okay, so that's succeeded. So now, once that takes me back here, if I just go back to my favorites, go to my hardware assets, I can see that the data has been um, imported correctly. Okay. So uh, that's one way that you could do it. Uh, some really good things to call out is if you're missing any data, the update set will identify that as well. So when you're pushing up the stack, it's a very great way to just ensure you're pushing up everything that is required. I hope that has helped. Uh, please let me know if there's um, 
anything else you any questions on this or anything else you want me to show and i'm happy to demonstrate these little functionalities that make uh service now easy to use uh, as a developer and admin um and architect so uh i hope that helped and thank you all for watching bye